All right, well, I'm not sure where I'm gonna be going with this video, but uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> I'm sort of just leaning to getting the 327 ready for this and maybe getting the interior painted, maybe just so we can focus on like the floor and stuff like that in there. I kind of did a quick mock-up like well, you've seen before I painted the dash. I bought a bunch of this rattle can, so I'm pretty much going to be using it for um, to, to paint my door jams and stuff. The door jams, the interior, I'm going to get some of it mixed up. I'm actually going to actually spray spray the outside. Um, but anyways, so I've heated these, shocks I've moved, moved these back up, over, back down. We got a small little gap nicely around the uh, hood. I haven't got around to making the extensions over here yet. Uh, so I gotta do something here and I'll probably make another one up on top. Uh, but yeah, like I say, I'm probably gonna take a look at this motor. I'm gonna drop the oil, drop the oil pan. I'll have to cap off this because we can't use this. We're gonna have to run electric fuel pump. Uh, I don't know what I want to paint it. I might just leave the motor black. Kind of okay with that. And uh, I wanted to change out the oil pump and stuff. Get the intake off. I might leave it on until we get it in the car. Truck. Yeah, it might stay on just for now. We'll swap it out when it finally goes into the truck. Uh, maybe modify that slave cylinder. I'm not sure. Let's just focus on the few little bits that I want to go. So, I think I'll pull the headers off, like kind of disassemble the motor. I'm going to fix up a few of these little screw ups that I had. Well, we know this is actually all good, so maybe I'm going to pull the motor out. I'll lift the cab off. Um, and then we can actually address painting the inside of the cab and stuff like that. Yeah, let's do that way. Let's start with that. Let's just work on the cab. And then possibly I'll doodle with the motor. <laughs> I don't know. Let's get started. Well, I wasn't really going to get into a lot of detail with the motor. I figured I would lapse it because I did take it apart. Uh, I ended up, the motor always had low oil pressure and I was always messing with it. Um, I guess at some point in its life, 
well, I don't know. It just had a hard life. <laughs> Anyways, I, uh, I flipped it over. I bought a high volume pump and stuff that I was going to put in, but then I realized when I opened it up, the, uh, um, the, whatever it is, the mains were actually toast. They're not the, they're not in the best shape. They should look not like that. Like those ones are pretty toast. And then the, they should look more like, well, not even like that. You shouldn't see any copper anyways. All the rod bearings were good. So, but I had new, so I put all new ones in. The uh, crank I switched out because, well, the mains were pretty scored up and it pretty much buggered up the crank. It was pretty, pretty gnarled in, in the middle three. So, and they were, this thing's been cut once. So, I don't know if you noticed, this is not a, anything special. It is a 327, but it's only a two bolt main. Nothing special. I mean, it's had a hard life and it's never been broke, so I'm okay with that. We're gonna keep giving her then. So I had a different crank. I threw it in, threw new bearings on the bottom end, and I'm just gonna use the same oil pump. I'm pretty sure this is a high, high pressure pump that I have, but I don't know. I'm not too worried. It should be good. I kind of know where my oil pressure went now. Anyways, I don't know if I'm gonna actually paint this or, well, maybe I'll put a fresh coat on, but it didn't have too many miles on it since it was in there, so. Anyways, I think uh, that's what I'm gonna leave her for now. I'm gonna go in, have a bite to eat, and either continue putting this together or start doing some sanding underneath the, on the cab and that thing. Wouldn't mind shooting a little bit of paint in there. Well, I decided to paint the motor. <laughs> uh, just shooting a base coat on it. I am actually going to try painting it similar to uh, to the color I'm thinking of throwing on the car because I've changed my mind yet again. Uh, but I'll uh, I'll kind of mix up, do my thing, shoot it on there, and pretty much surprise you. I'm uh, I'm kind of curious how it's going to turn out. So basically I'm experimenting on my motor. <laughs> if it doesn't work out, eh, no big deal. You just shoot some more paint on it or it'll just flake off randomly. Not too big, not too worried about it. But anyways, let's uh, mix them up. I'm not too concerned. I kind of did the exhaust ports, the into or the water jackets not. I'm actually just gonna stuff some rags in there. Uh, I'll just grind the, or um, I'll just clean the surfaces before I put the pump on and stuff. So that won't be too big of a deal. Though, I should actually get that thing a coat of paint on it too, and then I can spray it all at the same time here.
Well, unfortunately, my first experience with Metal Flake was a fail. <laughs> um, I tried spraying it through the gun. Didn't work. At least for me, it didn't. I got a cool... It's got a speckly look, so whatever. It's different. I'm okay with that. Uh, it was an experiment, so we'll see what we did. And we failed. We got glitter everywhere, so it's kind of telling me that if I come time to... Uh, paint the truck, we're going to have to actually um, put that thing in the paint booth. That said, I did experiment on a little test card and I get the results that I want, but it also will look like I'm just glittery everywhere because you, uh, I figure I have to dry spray it on. This is kind of the goal I'm going and I think this is the color I dig. I'm liking it. But I don't know, I'm doing an experiment to see because this is just Dollarama stuff. So people telling me that it's going to fail miserably. Like it'll, if it sits in the sun all the day, it'll uh, get screwed. So I might do it on the interior and see if I can find some flake for the outside. But then other people say that the clear coat will protect it and yada yada. I don't know. I'm right now experimenting with some of this. I just have it sitting in some, uh, some reducer. I'm going to see if it loses all its color. Because sometimes the thinner will actually cause it to melt or do something weird. This one's just, I just rattle can cleared it and played with it. It's, uh, it's very boat flaky, kind of what I want. So, but that said, it's really rough, but that's okay. You've had enough, eh? All right. Well, we'll go in tonight and, uh, we'll be back at her tomorrow. I guess I'll do some sanding and some prepping on the, uh, on the cab and then we'll, uh, blow some flake on there and see what happens. Right, Doggo? Is that a plan? Oh yeah, you don't care, you're gone. Well, Pablo, we've been doing a lot of experimenting, I don't know if you can see, with metal flake. <laughs> and it hasn't been working well for me. So I think I gotta tone down on the metal flake for now. Here you got lots. I tried metal flaking this piece, but the flake I think is too big. It was too glittery. Didn't work out well. You want in, bud? Come on in. There you go. So yeah, my floor is just riddled in glitter. <laughs> Which is cool, whatever. But either way, I am gonna just keep plugging away here. I'm just gonna start sanding. I'm gonna figure something out. For now, I've been, I feel like I've been wasting a day or two trying to experiment with this stuff and it's just not working in my favor. I do have to order up some sound deadening, some insulation that I want to put into here. But uh, for now, I think I'm just going to sand the jams, get it prepped. I'm going to figure something out as far as paint. Um, but because I really want a metal flake something, I'm. Uh, it's changed a lot of my plans here. I know people say you can't run the Dollarama flake, so I don't know. I've had this sitting in some gun wash or some thinner for uh, a few days and it hasn't lost its color or the or the pigment, I guess, or whatever. Like some of the colors washed off, but the flakes are still look flaky. This is like what I really would like to put on there. The flake is huge. Uh, when I was experimenting, what I was doing was I just literally threw this on a portable little sandblasting gun. So I was just doing that and it, it jets out to which that little test card I made worked out really, really well. But I don't know how long the paint job would hold out or if it would uh, get screwed up or not. Like this thing just looks like a big old bass boat. Just like awesome. So I'm not sure. I'm thinking I might change the color of the car, the truck to this. I got the folks to mix me up some of this paint and I might save it for something else. I'm going to see if I can get a green close to this and maybe that's what I'll paint the truck. And then for now, I'll just flake the roof and we'll see how bad it gets attacked by the sun. If it's not bad, then I'll probably will flake the whole vehicle. I would love to flake it front to back. I think that would just look awesome. But anyways, for now, we'll just focus on the inside. I'd like to do, maybe I'll flake the inside with this and it's like, eh, just is what it is. If it fades, it fades, I don't care. But I might flake the dash into the center and do this white or do some other kind of a speckle. And then I'll do the white like everywhere else around inside the cab. 
Uh, kind of the idea. Yeah, it'll probably change like everything I do, so not too worried about it at this point. But for now, I'm going to prep just so I can try to do something. So I feel like I've spent a day or two and I haven't done anything. We do have our other motor is all together, ready to go. So the next step is going to be just getting that tranny transmission or the transmission, the clutch assembly. We'll have to modify that slave. Yeah, the slave, the throat. Um, and if that all works out mint, we can kind of bolt up the motor and tranny and that's kind of like a permanent thing. Because then once we get this painted, we can drop it on. Anyways, let's start sanding. As fun as that is. Well, I don't know where I am in this painting experiment, so we're gonna try to <laughs> figure some stuff out. What I gotta do is do an actual test on a big panel first. Uh, I tried to do a smaller panel. It was, well, it started with the motor. That was a fail. I tried to flake this thing out. That was a fail. Probably because the flake was too big for what I was trying to do. So I gotta reprep that. That's okay. I'm, I'm cool with that. I do wanna put some paint inside the cab and I would like to put some flake on it. I'm just a little worried I put a bunch of effort in and it's gonna fail. So, I think I'm gonna do a little experiment even though it's irrelevant. This uh, roof used to be metal flake. It's vinyl, I'm gonna do everything wrong but it's really wrecked and I can't possibly make it any worse. So, my plan is to, uh, we'll just spray some clear coat on it and we will stick some, blow some metal flake on it and see what happens. If that spreads out evenly and does what it's supposed to, we should end up with something looking like that. And I'll just have a little more confidence when I do the truck or I do something bigger in there and I don't have to fix it. And this thing, if it is completely wrecked and junky, I A, don't care, and then B, I could always rewrap it in a vinyl or something. So that I'm not too concerned about. So I guess uh, what my game plan right now is gonna be, I'm gonna take that off. I have a bunch of poly. I'm going to tape it around the whole roof and I'm just going to spray some clear. I'm going to use my little, uh, my blaster gun. I'm just going to blast some red flake on there and see what happens. 
that's the plan. Hopefully there's enough in there to do something. I don't know. Maybe I should have got more. That seems like a very little bit for that area, but eh, whatever. Let's try it. See what happens. Okay, so we got this masked up, sort of. Still working a few of the bugs out. This stuff is pretty awesome though. It's kind of got a static cling to it. Anyways, you can see my vinyl is terrible. I've sanded it down. It actually did bring some of the flake back out, but it's still not even vaguely red. So with that said, uh, yeah, I'm just doing a really crappy experiment. I can't possibly wreck this anymore. So kind of don't do as I do because this is totally not the way you should do it. With that said, I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm pretty much experimenting on my own junk. And uh, if it works, win. If it's a fail, eh, oh well, not a big deal. The top's kind of wrecked anyway, so there's nothing to wreck. Right, Pavel? Is that the plan? I couldn't possibly make something worse, could I? Or do you think so? Yeah? Oh, he's getting worried. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna mix up some clear. My plan is to blindly just shoot a bunch of clear on it. And then uh, I'm gonna take my red flake, stick it in my gun here. And there's a good chance I don't have enough. I do have some silver, so maybe I'll mix it half silver, half that, just for the heck of it. That's what we'll do. We'll do the silver and we'll do this one. And uh, then we get twice as much. And then we'll see what the roof looks like. Maybe it'll be glittery like a disco ball. That'd be pretty awesome, but we won't know until we try. So I'm going to, like again, mix up some junky old clear that I got and uh, we'll blitz that stuff on after.
Well, this didn't work out as good as I wanted, but I mean, overall, it's starting to, I'm getting better at it. <laughs> I have to figure out these edges. Like I have a hard time struggling with this stuff. I'm gonna give her, I gotta get more though. I ran out of flake. It's kind of neat. We'll have to try some different uh, ideas yet. And like I say, the floor just looks like a glitter bomb went off. But that's okay. I think, I kind of like I said, I ran out of the uh, the flake, so I mean we have kind of a coat on, but here's we don't have enough. And you can see we'll have to uh, we'll we'll hit her up tomorrow. We'll give her a little scuff and shoot some more on. Not a big deal. I didn't have very much, so that's probably why that didn't work out. Anyways, that said, I want to. Uh, uh, at least get some paint in here. I don't really know what I'm doing. So For now, I'm gonna just hit up uh, What do I want to do? Yeah We're gonna experiment again. I don't know. I don't have a lot of I think I have a bunch of clear in this gun still I don't know how much is in it. I think I'm gonna toy with doing some white in the cab and then we'll hit her with a little bit of this fanciness. Because I think that'll spray out of this gun. Yeah, we don't get a lot. So I'll try that. We will experiment with that on this piece. Because I don't really dig. I'm starting not to dig the color on the car. So we're going to scuff this thing down quick. Uh, shoot some white on it. And uh, I'm going to try uh, to see if I can shoot the clear out of that gun. Like I say, I've been struggling with this paint for a long time here. <laughs> we gotta get somewhere eventually. Alrighty, well, we're the next day. We got more metal flake. So we're gonna retackle this and see if we can finish this thing up. I do have a dilemma in these corners where it doesn't go, so I might try with a brush or do something to try to uh, get that a little better. Is that a good word? 
get a little more something happening there anyways. Um, we'll have to experiment and try. Anyways, last night we did shoot some paint in the truck. So I did a white with that weird speckle. These little buggers <laughs> didn't like their posts and kept blowing onto the ground. To which, eh, it's okay. It's kind of hard with the light, whether you can actually see what's happening, but it's got a little twinkle to it, which I think is kind of cool. It's, uh, the texture's really rough, but I think that's just what flake paint is, if that makes sense. It just looks dirty. You can sand it and polish it, like sand it and put more clear on it. Eh, I am not too worried about it. This truck's rough everywhere, so I'm kind of cool with that. But I did do, like, some silver. I have no idea if you can see it. Let me try this light. Don't know if that makes sense to you or not, or if you can see. No idea. I don't know if that's visible or not. I think it's kind of cool. It's a little different. I am going to put some green into this eventually. Not right now, though. Anywho. Uh... I guess my plan is to still see if I can get this whole roof done. Um, so we're going to hit it again. Uh, I'm going to scuff it quick. Just so, wow, whatever. This stuff probably won't even stick. You probably don't want to drive behind me for the first while while this just kind of dusts off. But um, I still want to figure things out. Because the overall this is working, what I have been learning though from what I can tell, is I can't clear the whole thing. So I kind of almost have to do it in chunks because it's almost like the clear flash is too fast and then this stuff doesn't want to stick to it. Because if you sit here, you can see it just wants to come off, which once I run the scuff pad across, which from my understanding would be, this is normal. So usually you take all the higher flakes off and you kind of deal with it. So whatever, I just need to figure out this because I really want heavy, heavy flake. So it really makes me wonder, back in the day when Barris was doing this stuff, how he, how they came up with it. They're probably struggling the way I am. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to give it just a quick scuff. I'm going to mix up some more clear. Uh, my gun, my little uh, sparkle gun is like ready to rock. And then what I might try is just when this is nice and wet is maybe take a brush, dab it into the flake and see if it sticks to this. I don't know. We've got to come up with some ideas to try to try to make this look very consistent. If I do want to actually make the whole paint job work on the other one, because I can't, this will not spray through any spray gun. So you got to do this dry spray thing. So see if we can get her, see if we can figure it out.
Well, bud, how did that go? Be honest. Didn't go very good, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so we had a fail with the gun. It wasn't working, or this thing I made didn't work out well. And then uh, I was thinking maybe the nozzle was getting plugged, but the lid got stuck on. So at some point you probably see me, I was trying to undo this. The darn thing broke off, which then, yeah, my experiment just went right down the crapper. <laughs> So anyways, I was just process like I was just throwing it on top and then uh, experimenting with a brush. That didn't work. Worked terrible. Then I remembered the guy at the ball. I actually bought a roller because he was saying the he's heard people, or I don't know if maybe he did back in the day, but they would actually use like a paint roller. And I guess that actually kept the flake flat, which is pretty funny. It actually did work. It's pretty flat, but it's still, it's like not really fully dry yet but it's super super rough like if you look at it it's got to be expected it's got a crappy texture but I only got one coat of clear it would need like a lot of clear on it to actually make that smooth which whatever I'm okay with that that's not a big deal but my problem was these edges that worked okay I kept a little bit of this dollarama like a, a jar of the flake and I would just actually put it on my roller and just roll to get into these corners that said this is just a horrendous well, it's not a total fail. Like, you know, in the end, I learned something from this. I'm not very good at doing this. <laughs> I uh, pretty much need to get a, need or make a better blasting gun. I mean, we still got to do some more experimenting with this before we uh, fully commit. You can still see she's pretty shiny over on that side. Well, we got some paint. I guess if you had a good base, like if I had a silver or something, this wouldn't look bad, but stuff like this, I'm not happy with. Ah, it's a learning experience. Hey, you gotta fail to, you gotta fail before you're gonna win at stuff. This is sort of a fail, but it's not. In my eyes, this actually looks better than the top did. And as it flakes and does weird stuff, to me, that looks cool. So some folks are not gonna understand that. Actually, a lot of folks won't understand that, but they purposely want it to start looking trashy looking. I mean, look at the rest of the car. It'll, uh, It'll just suit it when it comes time. Anyway, I think I'm rambling. I got a buddy that I'm going to go poke at his brain, see how we can do this. I think overall it was sort of working okay, but it's heavy, heavy flake, and I don't know anybody that's done this. They usually do the stuff where you can put it in the paint gun with the clear. You shoot it over, it does its thing. None of this stuff will come through that gun, so I'm kind of, kind of at a loss. Maybe I gotta do like tons and tons of clear, do like I was working it in process, like in little chunks. I was doing it in, uh, you know, like I was doing a little bit, blasting it, that was working good. Then I was clearing it some more, then I was blasting it. And in the end, if it all looks uniform, then I don't see a problem with that. But uh, I think I've been blabbing about this long enough. I don't know. We'll see, we'll get some better camera angles at it when it's dry, we'll see how terrible it is. Probably looks pretty blotchy and crappy right now, and I don't imagine it's gonna look a lot better. <laughs> it looks better than the white fuzz or whatever was going on before. And again, I painted vinyl, so whatever. It's gonna fail. I'm not too worried about it. Not gonna sweat it. But I mean, in hindsight, we did get some paint inside the cab, so that's good. We have uh, glitter all over the shop. But I think I'd rather have glitter all over the place than dust. I kind of don't mind that. So we got the door jams done here. I think what I'm going to do is do that like a micro flake or that smaller flake in the jams. And I'm going to, because this doesn't actually have a garnish molding. So I'm probably going to just tape off an invisible pretend line that I like for a garnish molding. And then I can like paint the inside of the jams and uh, get that looking the way I want. I started spraying that white, but I wasn't digging it. So it's probably gonna end up black around the trim and this stuff. Just, I don't know. I just don't like, the white's not looking that great. And it'll probably get covered anyways, so. I don't know. This was a hard video to make, I'll tell you, because I had a lot of, a hard time making decisions in this one. Uh, I think next round we're gonna switch around and play this, uh, Put the actual motor in and get the clutch and stuff all sorted out, get that figured out. And hopefully I get a friend over to, we can do some different experimenting and try to figure out this heavy flake. 
I know this seems like a huge waste, but you got to imagine, I don't have really any money into that experiment. I have Dollarama flakes, so I think I have uh, maybe $10 of that and some clear that I just had lying around. Like it's just random garbage clear. So even if I had to buy the clear, this was a, a $50 experiment, if anything. So it's not a, I don't know. I learned from it lots. So can't say that's a bad thing. At least I learned. Other people probably figured I'm an idiot, but <laughs> I'm okay with that. Not a big deal. But anyways, like I said, I think I'm going to get back to, we'll get the motor, the powertrain stuff done in here. And then hopefully I figured out how to paint the thing by then. And uh, we can get it going on that. So, uh, as always, I want to thank you folks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.